Hi, thanks for watching today's video. I'm Brian, the Finance Ninja. I don't want to waste your time, so let's get to it. In today's video, I'm going to discuss how Tesla can reach north of $14,000 per share in 10 years. That is a 20x from today's share price. I'm telling you, if you offer me a 20x in 10 years, I'm going to say gimme, gimme, gimme. I will discuss additional revenue streams that Tesla will gain on top of the per mile charge for RoboTaxi. After that, I'll go into a broader view of just how exactly Tesla will dominate the taxi network to the point where nobody can compete. I've also updated my six Tesla RoboTaxi valuation models for other revenues and have also added in taxes. Hit as a can't miss. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. But first, I have a special promotion for the next 100 patrons. For only $1 a month, you can get permanent VIP access to my Patreon. That is a $25 value for only $1. This promotion is only 100 slots total, so get in now before it's too late. Get early access to my videos, instant trade notifications, and access to my spreadsheets, including the one in this video. The link is in the description. You also get a personalized message from me. I tried to make it free, but Patreon wouldn't let me. $1 was the minimum. Sorry guys, I don't have control over that. Next up is Tesla's RoboTaxi Ancillary Revenues. Please note that neither Elon Musk nor Tesla have said they will implement any of these. But I expect each of these features to be in the Tesla RoboTaxi service as each will generate a ton of cash flow. And many of these features will be Tesla exclusive due to the vertical integration. And most won't cost much to implement. The revenue will go straight to the bottom line on many of these. First of all is integration into trip planning sites. What a benefit to the customer this will have. The idea is this. You go to your favorite trip planning site, say Expedia. You plan out your trip. You book hotel rooms, flights, etc. But there's one key piece missing from all of this. How do you get from point A to point B? Enter Tesla RoboTaxi. The RoboTaxi can drive you from your home to your local airport, drive you from the destination airport to your hotel, pick you up from hotel and take you to your destination, pick you up from your destination to another destination, take you back to your hotel, and so on. At the end of your trip, pick you up and take you to the airport, and then pick you up at your local airport and take you home. As you can see, you can pre-plan your whole trip, or part of it. That's up to the customer. Once it is planned, the customer does not need to feed any information into the taxi network. The RoboTaxi system already knows your whole trip already. It can prompt you when the next step is about to come up, at which point the traveler can either accept it or tell it to wait and pick them up later in, say, an hour. The integration will be direct and the customer would not have to adjust anything. Their whole trip is planned. Play games while you ride. The new Model S Plaid already has this feature. And let's face it, this infotainment center was not built for the Plaid. I believe it was built for the RoboTaxi service. This will generate billions of dollars a year alone. There is a console for the front seat as well as the back seats, and they already play games up to a PS5 level performance. So the infotainment center is already built and tested and deployed. All Tesla has to do is say, yes, I want this in the robo taxis, and it's there. Poof. Done. Next up is a user account system where your games and apps follow you from taxi to taxi. Think of it like Apple's App Store or Google Play. So you can purchase games and apps to keep you entertained while you ride. How it can work is this. RoboTaxi can have their own online store where you can purchase games and apps to keep you entertained while you ride. Your purchases are tied to your RoboTaxi account. Tesla will get a cut of the sale. Standard practice for the industry is about 30%. When you summon a car, the car will download your games and apps while it drives to your pickup location so your game will be ready once it gets there to pick you up. When the taxi drops you off, you save your progress back to Tesla's cloud network 
so you can continue your game on your next trip. Tesla also has an option to have a small monthly fee for this feature. Perhaps call it RoboTaxi Plus, where you get access to the Infotain Center for, let's say, $5 a month. Now, how much can the App Store be worth? Sony made 1.4 trillion yen in digital software and add-on content in the fiscal year ended March 31st, 2021. This is their PSN store, and it is massive. What is this in dollars? It's 13 billion US dollars. Next up is a hint when a food place is nearby. Have you noticed that Google Maps now announces food places during your drive? It says something like, turn right after such and such. That's not there out of the goodness of their hearts. That's a clever advertisement. Tesla can, and I expect will, do the same. In fact, Tesla can go one step further and ask you for your order and send the order to the food place, taking a cut of the proceeds, say 10%. This can work for hotel rooms also. Same for planning a day trip or a meal with your special someone where you can directly ask the taxi for a place and it will offer a suggestion and take a cut. While Google does not break out how much money it makes from Google Maps, Camille Fernick estimated that Google makes $3.5 billion a year from ads on Google Maps. That's a lot of money. I think Tesla RoboTaxi can do something similar in 10 years since Tesla will have the added bonus of taking people's orders, getting a cut of sales, etc. Things like taking to a scenic place is more of a value add. The customer would be charged per mile, but it's mostly a value add for the customer. The route to the scenic place can be clever though and take them to a scenic route that will have lots of food places and other places for passengers to spend money and Tesla get a cut nearby. A taxi service so cheap you do not need to own your own car. I expect that if the per mile charge gets below 60 cents per mile, people in cities will start ditching their cars and going robo taxi only. The robo taxi can detect when you are drunk and drive you home. Parents will prefer their children taking a Tesla robo taxi if the robo taxi will drive them home if they are inebriated. Insurance claim processing is a value add. Since Tesla will own the insurance company, they can get insured at cost. No other taxi company will be able to be priced competitive here. Also, due to vertical integration, claims can be processed immediately due to Tesla's data feed and AI. Again, only Tesla would be able to do this since they build the cars and run the insurance company. Comment down below, what do you think about these ideas? Do you think Tesla will implement them? The models have been updated with a tax rate of 12.9%, which is what Tesla paid last quarter. Tesla will dominate the taxi network. It's not even a question. Why? It's very simple. Tesla is vertically integrated and every facet of the taxi experience is directly controlled by Tesla. If they want to add something, they can add it without asking a supplier. Tesla has, right now, an infotainment system on the level of a PS5, an insurance company, full self-driving beta 8.2 with beta 9 on the way. Yes, this is a picture of Tesla's supercomputer. This is not a stock photo. Tesla has the fifth fastest supercomputer in the world working on their neural net for full self-driving. Tesla is the only autonomous driving company gearing towards generalized full self-driving. No cars on tracks or geofenced areas. Tesla has the ability to build their own fleet to their own specs. Tesla will soon unleash Dojo, which will replace this supercomputer. Dojo will be even faster and will be more tailored for neural networks. Tesla will have, soon, connection to Starlink. This will be used to download the customer's games onto the taxi without the need to connect to a cell network, which saves costs. Starlink will also be used, in my opinion, to beam data directly to Tesla insurance immediately after an accident, including the last 60 seconds before said accident. 
I expect Tesla Insurance to have its own neural network to process these claims automatically and quickly. Tesla Insurance will be rolled out nationwide. It is only in select areas right now. Things that need to be built are the RoboTaxi app and RoboTaxi user accounts. They also need collaboration with food companies, hotels, travel agencies, etc. Those companies will go to Tesla to get added and Tesla will get a cut. Not much work on Tesla's end. Take your order and send it to the food place. This takes deeper integration and I think would take longer to implement than the others, but Tesla would get a cut if this goes according to plan. Full self-driving needs to be finalized and ready for production, along with government approvals. As you can see, Tesla does not use HD maps or LiDAR. They are also removing radar since it is unreliable. I am hoping for great things from FSD Beta version 9, which will be released soon. Andre Carpathy gave an awesome in-depth deep dive into Tesla Vision AI a week ago. I highly suggest you watch it if you haven't already. Click the link above to see Andre's presentation as well as my take on it. In my opinion, we got AI day early. I'll give you a hint. Tesla is leaps and bounds ahead of everybody. The solution the competitors are going after is doomed to fail since HD maps won't be updated fast enough. A generalized full self-driving experience is the only true solution to this problem, and only Tesla is pursuing it. Others are happy being geofenced. Tesla is not. Now let's dig into the numbers to see how I arrived at the possibility of a $14,000 stock valuation. I'm going to skip cost per mile as I've gone over it a few times already. You can view my other RoboTax evaluation videos to see them. Now for the new stuff. I have split up other revenues into both without and with transition cases. If you'll recall, this is whether there is a mass transition from owning a vehicle to relying on a robotaxi to take you everywhere. I'm assuming there will be more robotaxi users than there are cars on the road. Especially now that so many people are working from home. So in Bull Without, we have a user count of 15 million, App Store commissions of $3 billion, advertising revenue of $2 billion, third-party integrations of $2 billion, for a total of $7 billion. Now, let's move on to the estimated operating statement. See the new fields I added? I added other revenue and tax. Other revenue is the ancillary revenue I discussed in this video. I split the chart into two segments just like the previous one, one without the big transition and one with the big transition. I do not know if the huge transition will take place, so I'm pricing for both scenarios. Let's start the numbers for without a big transition. First off, without autonomous driving, Uber and Lyft will be taken out by Tesla. I think Tesla will take most or all of their business, as well as add new customers, since Tesla's will be so cheap per mile. Keep in mind that I'm assuming Tesla owns these vehicles. Let's start with the without transition bolt case. Car counts of 5 million, miles per year 50,000. Utilization is the amount of miles driven that is charged. I put it at 50%, which I believe is small, as Tesla will have an efficient pathing system so the cars spend more time driving people than driving empty. Price per mile includes the possibility of multiple passengers in a car at the same time. This number may seem high, but when you take into account multiple passengers, it is not. Billable miles thus is 25,000, price per mile $1.20. Now for this video's input, other revenue of $7 billion. So total revenue is now $157 billion, cost per mile of 8.4 cents. That makes for a cost of revenues of $21 billion. All told, that is a gross profit of $136 billion. That is enormous. Depreciation of $7.5 billion, insurance, etc. of $2.4 billion, SG&A of $2.5 billion, R&D budget of $1 billion to account for the ancillary revenues, operating expenses $21.4 billion, operating income $114 billion, taxes of $14.8 billion, 
for a total net income of $99.7 billion. If you assume a PE of 60, that's a market cap of nearly $6 trillion. Yes, that would be the biggest company in the world. Check out 963000 That gives you a share price of $6,216 per share. Now, the main difference between the bull and bear cases is the car count decreases, price per mile decreases, and other revenue decreases. So the bear case share price in 2031 is $2,527. These are the numbers without a big transition. Now, if Tesla can get the price below 60 or 70 cents per mile, I predict that people will gradually begin to eschew owning a vehicle to taking Tesla's robo-taxi service everywhere. Will this happen? It's hard to say right now, but I think many people will, especially in cities. If it does happen, strap on your seatbelts. It's about to get fun. Let's now discuss the with a big transition numbers. Let's start with the with a big transition bull case. Car count of 20 million, price per mile of 70 cents, other revenue, again, that's from this video, of $18.6 billion, total revenue of $368 billion, Operating income of $202 billion. With the PE of 60, that gives you a market cap of $10.5 trillion. And a share price of nearly $11,000. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I said earlier $14 trillion. These numbers are for robo taxi only. When you add in all of Tesla's other businesses, 14 trillion is possible in my bull case for the entire company. Similar differences between the bull and bear cases, the car count decreases, the price per mile decreases, the other revenue decreases, so the bear case share price in 10 years is $1,906. Please note that these numbers are for RoboTaxi alone. I am still modeling the other businesses out, but when you add in auto sales, energy, etc., it tops $14,000 in my bull case. Please note that these numbers are for RoboTaxi alone. I'm still modeling for the other businesses, but when you add an auto, energy, etc., it easily tops $14,000 per share in my bull case. Getting excited? I sure am. I'm currently working on the valuation model for the auto business. Once it is ready, I'll create a video for you. Well, as you can see, this is all feasible. All are either direct revenue and profits or value adds. Many of these are things that only Tesla can do due to the vertical integration. What other avenues can Tesla take RoboTaxi? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.